Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video on the series of metrics based pricing in Conga CPQ, we have seen how discrete and range based pricing works. Today we are going to explore other stuff like how cumulative range based pricing can be set up in Conga CPQ. So quickly sharing the agenda, we're going to see what is cumulative range based pricing, how to set up that, a use case around it, and we'll review the configuration. Now, what is cumulative range based pricing? So when a product needs to be priced based on the predefined ranges, it becomes range based pricing. And what is cumulative that we're going to see later. Okay. So typically the products are being priced based on the following field value that's being defined. So first of all, we'll define the field on which we want to price the product against. Then typically the ranges that we define. Right. Now, how to set up that? So we use price metrics and price metric entries for to fulfill this requirement. Then we can define this price metrics on price list item as we show in the last video as well. Uh, price metrics are the header level data which stores information regarding to the field, what type of price metrics it is. Then price that metrics entry define the actual ranges. Uh, price metrics allow you to price product based as follows. Price with discrete value, price with range, price with cumulative range per line, price with cumulative range per card, and price with weight range. Okay. So of this, we have seen discrete and range based pricing, and today we're gonna see cumulative range per line and cumulative range per card. That's a use case, and we have taken the same use case from the previous tutorial as well. Conga is a product-based company, ABC Corporation want to purchase CPQ licenses, they agree to pay based on the licenses being purchased. Now here is the change. So this were the values that we have configured. Now cumulative range. So if pricing is set to cumulative range per line, then pricing engine will look for all the tiers and for a particular line, it will price based on the quantity that's being defined. So let's say somebody purchases 15 quantity right so as we discuss this will be tier of 0 to 10 so 10 quantity will be priced based on this as a 30 dollar per unit and next five quantities will be priced on 28 dollar or 28 rupees per unit okay now cumulative range per card so let's say consider you have a product in the card you have created a line with quantity 10 or quantity 7 and you add the same product again and you set the quantity as 8 now if it is cumulative range per line then it will individually price that particular line let's say 5 for the first one and 7 for the first one so it will become 5 into 30 and 7 into 30 we'll see the example as well but if you want to convert it to let's say 5 and 7 12 quantity we have purchased so first 10 should be priced at 30 and second should be priced at 28, second two will be priced at 28. That can be done using this cumulative range per card. And we'll see that. So let's review that first. Okay. So I have a product called CPQ license. I'm using the same one. Again, I'm having matrices defined for it. Now dimension is line item quantity and we have already speak about what line dimension is. Here the range is cumulative range. That means this is per card. And these are the tiers 10, 20, 30, uh, 30, 28, and 25 accordingly. The price. What I'll do is I'll go and I'll add some product. So I'll add it. I'll add one product and I'll add another. So we'll be having two lines in the cart. And let's see. I'll, I'll go to the pricing page and let's verify the prices that are coming. So consider this is 30, 30. And I make the quantity as 5 and I make the quantity as 5 that becomes 10 as a whole card quantity which will be pricing against this one so that will be correct the challenge will come up when we change the quantity so let's say I'll change the quantity to 7 now we'll expect this will be priced as 5 into 10 150 and this will be priced as 7 into uh, 7 into 30 this will be 5 into 30 this will be 7 into 30 right Let's reprise and let's see. So you see it got changed. 5 
into 30 which becomes 150 then 5 into 30 which becomes 150 and then remaining 2 will be priced based on the second tier so 2 into 28 becomes 56 so if you do 150 plus 56 it will result into 206 right and we can see those steps over here let's say 5 to 10 5 quantity will you take then 10 to 20 2 quantity will you take right now let's say we, we don't want to do this right because ideally we want to do it per line so what we can do is we can go to summary over here and we can make it cumulative range line item okay now let's see the same example okay so i'll just delete those steps and i'll again add the products to cart and again i'll add two products so let me add one and one after another i'll go to the cart where we can see the pricing getting calculated and we'll apply the same step so let's i'll make it five i'll make it five and reprise it this will become 150 150 for each now what i'm going to do is post the pricing gets completed i'm going to make it seven now since we changed it to per line cumulative per line then it will evaluate per line instead of evaluating at the cart level we are now evaluating at, the, evaluating at a per line item level so this is how your cumulative range per line and cumulative range per cart will work i hope you guys like the video uh, please like and share the content so that other can benefit and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel to get learning from this videos thank you very much